Hey everybody, uh, I'm here for MI Mailbox this week, and uh, this actually marks the return of one of my cats, Maya. You can't see her right now, um, but she's here. Um, she's actually just kind of sitting there, lounging on her side. I don't know if you can see that or not. Look at her. She's so cute. If I if you can see her, I don't I don't. I don't but anyway, um, yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started, because I have a lot of books to show you this week. I didn't actually get a whole lot, I just happened to buy quite a few books today. And, you know. So anyway. So the first book I got this week was um, a package from Penguin that I got. And it was Breathing by Cheryl Renee Herbsman. And there's actually kind of a funny story behind this. Um, my roommate was actually leaving to go to work when this arrived. And I thought that she had just found it outside her door. And then apparently, like, uh, two nights later, she actually told me the whole story. It said she actually, she went out and she had shut the door, and the FedEx man was, like, just walking out. We're on the second floor. And he was just walking out, but he hadn't gotten to the steps yet, and he saw her come out of our apartment, and he's like, hey, hey, you! And, you know, she, and she kind of, like, turned, and, and he was like, I've got a package for you! And she was like, uh, okay. And he actually threw the package up to her and then walked away. So I was like, um, okay, that was really, <laughs> that's, that's a really weird protocol for a FedEx guy, but whatever. Um, but anyway, so um, Cheryl contacted me about receiving a, view, uh, blah, blah, a review copy a couple weeks ago, and of course I agreed. So, because it looks like a really good book, and I'm excited to read it, and I'm so glad I have it. And um, it comes out in April. And I actually, I, one of the main reasons that I really like this book is because of the cover. Um, because there's a shirtless guy on it. And he's wearing pajama pants that kind of show off his butt. And um, I kind of want to see the front of him. And I kind of also hope that, he, hope that he's gay. And that Cheryl can put me into contact with him. But I highly doubt that's possible. So I won't put too much, I won't invest too much into that. Um, <laughs> so, there's, so that's that. Um, now there's a funny story behind this one. Um, on Monday, uh, or Sunday night or something, I got an email from Karen on YA Book Swap about, um, uh, because I had, uh, talked about wanting a cop an advanced copy of Love You, Hate You, Miss You by Elizabeth Scott. And so, so she said, well, hey, I've got, um, my copy, and would you be willing to, um, trade with me uh, your copy of The Awakening or Rampant for my copy of Love You, Hate You, Miss You. And I was like, well, I'd prefer to borrow, but yes, that sounds fine. And so, so we had it, you know, set up like we, you know, made an arrangement and everything. And then I go to the mailbox that day, and there's a copy of Love You, Hate You, Miss You <laughs> from Harper Collins in my mailbox. So this just furthers my, um, assertion that uh, publishers are sticking computer chips into reviewers' heads and knowing what they want. Um, and there's actually, aside from that, there's actually another instance of this later this week that I will get to in a little bit. On uh, Tuesday, I think it was, I got a bunch of stuff from UPS. Um, I actually, uh, I got two Amazon boxes, which I've now put books in, which you'll see next week when I post my bookshelf pictures and um, two packages from Random House. And they were, they're both books that I don't want, that I've never heard of before, and that I really don't, like, I just don't want them. So I'm going to donate them to the library. <laughs> so maybe somebody will want to read them. Um, I think they're both debut books, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, no, geez, this one's written a couple of books. But anyway, um, Alligator Bayou by Donna Jo Napoli, or Napoli, I don't know. Um, yeah, and, uh, <laughs> Carolina Harmony by Marilyn Taylor McDowell, and, yeah, I've never heard of any of these books, and I don't really want them, so I'm giving them away, along with a couple of other things that, um, stuff I don't want, or that are extra books that I don't need to have with me, so, yes, and, um, oh, I just wanted to show this off really quickly, because, um, Steph and Lenore are talking about Speak, and I actually, which I thought was really funny, actually, because I had just decided to get the book Speak from my local library, 
and um, I haven't started reading it. I've read it, like a page so far, or like a, no, like two paragraphs. Um, and they also have the movie. That was the main thing. I wanted to. I got the book and the movie, but the movie I can only take off for a week, and I just didn't have enough time to read the book before then. So I just took the DVD back, and I'll just get it late some other time. Um, okay, I guess that's okay. So this is the second instance of the um, computer chip thing. Um, earlier this week, I posted a picture post featuring um, pictures of books out in the wild in the bookstores. And one of them was of Sophomore Undercover by Ben Ash, and I said in it that I was supposed to be getting a review copy, but I never actually got one. So, um, then on Thursday, um, I had emailed Ben and told him that I had a copy of, uh, that I had a picture of his books in the store on my blog, and he sent me, uh, an email asking me if I'd gotten my review copy yet, because it had been, that that point it had been like a day or so since I posted it. And I said no. Later that day, from Disney <laughs> Publishing, I got my copy of Sophomore Undercover by Ben Ash. So um, apparently people just need to email me and ask me about if I've gotten a book. And then I guess it just magically pops up, pops up in my mailbox. So there's that. And then, um, and then I, think that was, I think that's it. And then there's uh, today I got you an, an advanced copy of You Are Here by Jennifer E. Smith. And I asked Jennifer for a copy, and she forwarded it on to a publicist, and it arrived today, Saturday. And um, so I'm so excited to have this. It looks fantastic, and I can't wait to read it. Because I loved your first, first book, The Comeback Season, so I'm really excited about this one. And then uh, today, uh, not this. Um, there's, at the mall near me, there is uh, this huge book sale that's going on. And... And like all hardcovers are four dollars, and all paperbacks are two dollars, and it's seriously a massive thing. Like it's like it's like a bookstore, and that's just yeah. So I checked the they had a young adult section, and I got two books from there. Um, Why I Let My Hair Grow Out by Mary Rose Wood, and um, Chalet Girls Balancing Acts. The reason I got this was because my roommate got me the third book in in the series uh, for Christmas, but she didn't realize it was the third book in the series because they don't put numbers on this. So. Um, so this is the first book, so now all I need is the second book. So maybe if somebody has that, then they can get send it to me. Um, and then I got a manga called Menkui, which is actually a gay manga. Not hardcore, just, um, just regular, just regular. And then I got, um, the Tragedy of Miss Geneva, F I think it's Flowers. Yeah, Miss Geneva Flowers which is also a gay book, um, and so I was really intrigued by it, so, and it's an adult book, too. Um, yeah, so that's what I got, and that's all I've got this week, so I'll see you guys next week for In My Mailbox, okay? Bye.